Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. I am super excited for today's video because we get to open up a full Chilling Rain booster box. 36 packs, a whole two weeks before the official release of Chilling Rain, the latest Pokemon car set. A huge thank you to the Pokemon Company International for sending me this booster box and allowing me to give you guys a sneak peek into this upcoming set. Stick around and watch the whole entire opening because I am giving away every single rare pull we get in today's video. Hollow rares, ultra rares, and secret rare. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in this video. I will use the comment picker app to select five winners with each getting a portion of the polls cars will be shipped out on june 18th after the official chilling rain release so let's jump right into it what do i think of chilling rain i've done an initial review of the set and i think it is a really solid set i think this is going to be a really fun set for both players as well as collectors i think there's plenty inside of this set for everyone it is definitely a stack set i don't think uh that's an understatement at all i think a lot of people would agree with me that this is a really strong pokemon car set one of the best sword and shield set yet i think the pokemon company really delivered with this set it is super stacked uh let's talk about what's inside of this set 12 alternative art cards that's quite a bit that's a lot of alternative art a ton of full art trainer cards if you're into full art trainers there's a lot of them inside of this set i'm seeing quite a few so far we already saw clara as well as avery there is a total of 13 full art trainer cards inside of this set not including the secret rares that's just the regular full art versions not even the secret rare version so what's so ridiculous about 13 full art trainers well for example rebel clash a really cool set uh four full art trainer cards chilling rain has tripled the amount of full art trainers that rebel clash had so a very strong set the alternative art cards for the uh, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, their Galarian versions, are super dope. I would love to pull any of those cards. I think uh, whoever wins those cards, if we were able to pull them in today's box opening, is going to be really, really excited. I would like to see at least one alternative art card inside of today's video just to see how they look. These new cards feel very different. Oh my gosh, there's one of the cutest cards inside of the set. Sobble training under a waterfall. I think it is an adorable card. I, I'm just really excited for all of these artworks. I think they're all fantastic. Overall, I really enjoy Chilling Rain. I think it's gonna be a really solid long-term set. What's my chase card for this set? I think it's gonna have to be the Calyrex. I really like both the Shadow and Icy version. I think they're both really cool. I just call them the ponies. Really like the ponies. Can't wait to pull some. A full art hunting card, that'd be cool too. Melanie, there's a ton of trainer cards in this set. I don't know what's up with it. Uh, actually, I do know why there's so many inside of this set. The Weedle, I love the Weedle as well. Doing a pull up with uh, Heracross doing a sit up in the background. You just gotta love the flavor of this set. I just am really excited for it. And our first hit is a Celebi Ultra Rare. Oh my God, Celebi V card, Ultra Rare. Gorgeous, I mean, that is a really gorgeous card. Man, some of the V cards don't look too, too amazing, but this one really shines. I think it's because of the background. There's actually a lot going on in this card. So I really like that. I think a lot of the uh, V cards are CG art, and this Celebi looks to be a little bit digitized drawn. Someone drew that Celebi, I can tell you that. So I think that's a huge difference. I think I much prefer the hand-drawn art over CG. Some people ask me, Jake, what is CG art? CG just means computer generated, so no one actually drew the artwork. And you'll see that in some of the V cards in that there's no artist name. It's named uh, after a studio who generated the artwork rather than a specific artist. And I don't like that. I want my Pokemon card to have a, 
a specific artist. I think that'd be the most important things in some of the artwork is that we can recognize the flavor that the artist added to the cards. Some of these cards just have so much emotion in them. Even the common and uncommons are really cool. Man, I'm excited. We're, we're one hit in and I'm already super excited. I don't know about these code cards. I think you can claim these code cards, but you cannot open up your booster packs until uh, June 18th on the Pokemon TCG, but I am also giving away all the code cards in today's video. A lot more cards are being added for both Single Strike and Rapid Strike in terms of support. I know Single Strike and Rapid Strike haven't really made a huge jump. Ooh, we got ourselves a hit. That is a big hit. We got ourselves a full art V Max card. I'm very confident in that. I think that's what it is in the background. And it is Galarian Slow King V Max Single Strike. That's going to be an annoying card to play against in the TCG for sure. So there's our second hit Galarian Slow King V Max. Not the alternative art version. I think there is an alternative art version of. Galarian Sloking, that'd be a cool card to pull. Although overall, I'm I'm really enjoying this. There's just so many cards in this set. I wonder if the pull rates is a little bit higher. I have noticed that with larger sets, the pull rates tend to be a little bit better, I think, just in general, because they want to make it feel like you're still getting a lot of hits. This is such a large set. You gotta improve the pull rates a little bit if you want a chance at even pulling most of these cards. So let's talk some more about what's inside of this set. 35 secret rares. I think that's the right count. There were so many secret rares inside of this set. And if you're looking at one secret rare per booster box, it's gonna be a massive challenge to pull all of the secret rares. Quite a few of them. Some of them are energy version. I think this is the first Sword and Shield set with three gold Pokemon. I'd be, I'd be cool with any of them. I think one of the gold Pokemon is the Snorlax. I'd be really excited to pull the gold Snorlax card. That'd be an exciting card to get for sure. Man, check out that Galarian Zapdos. That is such a cool artwork. I think they did a really good job in redesigning the uh, Bird Trio. A fantastic job in bringing back some life into those cards. So really cool set of Pokemon. And if you would like to open up some Chilling Rain booster packs before the official release, you can. Don't think that I'm super special on this. If you go to your local game store and check out their pre-release schedule, you might be able to open up some Chilling Rain booster packs ahead of the official release as well. A lot of Pokemon tournaments are restarting in June. Uh, I'm probably going to join my local league. I always enjoy hanging out with other Pokemon card collectors and it's just a lot of fun to just be enthusiastic about <clears throat> an upcoming set. It's always fun to join in a pre-release event. One of the last pre-release events that I went to before uh, COVID struck was Cosmic Eclipse and I actually won first place in the pre-release tournament. So I'm gonna say that I am the undisputed champ of my local area. Someone can fight me on that, but that's what I believe. And overall, really cool. Man, this is cool. Chilling Rain, Calyrex. I wouldn't mind pulling one of the Calyrex VMAX, uh, Shadow Rider or Ice Rider, whichever ones inside of this set would be super cool. Those are some of my chase cards. The alternative art uh, Galarian Bird Trio would also be some of my chase cards. In terms of four trainers, I think I would want any of them. There are a ton of fantastic full art trainers inside of this set. I think even one of them is drawn by one of my favorite artists, Noki Saito. Super cool guy. He has his own YouTube channel where he goes over all his tips and tricks on how you can improve as an artist. Really cool guy. Uh, glad to see him doing so well. And overall, can't wait to pull one of the cards. Which one does he draw? I think it is, is it Clara? I think he draws Clara inside of this set. So I think I already pulled the regular Clara, wouldn't mind the full art version. There might be a full art trainer somewhere in this set. A hollow rare Cobalion. Cobalion, there's a card we haven't seen in a while. 
I think Diamond and Pearl is getting a really fantastic remake or an updated version, however you want to say it. And what that probably means is we're going to see some more Diamond and Pearl uh, crossover into the trading card. That's usually how it works. So most likely next year, we're going to see a lot of Diamond and Pearl related sets. And I think that's going to be really exciting as well. This car, uh, this set has 198 card. Seems a bit lower than I expected. I thought we were well over 200. If you include all the secret rares, for sure, this set is well over 200. We got ourselves Scullipede in the back. Only two ultra rares so far. How many ultra rare hits should we expect inside of our booster box? Mm, I would say 10 would be a good number. I think that's what I'm shooting for. Realistically, you should get 12 hits, but probably two or three of those will be hollow rares, which are not the best hits. We got ourselves Flannery. Love Flannery. She's one of the gym leaders from Ruby and Sapphire. I am a huge Ruby and Sapphire fan. I think Ruby and Sapphire were some of the most fun games. We got Zangoose Holographic Reverse. One of you guys is going to be getting that card for sure. I just think it's super cool to put inside of one of the winner's sets. Um, and overall, yeah, really enjoy Ruby and Sapphire. Fantastic two games. Blaziken is inside of Chilling Rain, so there are some cool cards for Ruby and Sapphire fans. Uh, Blaziken. Blaziken V Max has an alternative art inside of this set. It's really kooky. It's a really kooky card. Can I put that card up on the screen? If you guys check it, there's the Japanese version of it. And we pulled ourselves the Ice Rider Calyrex V. Yeah, they are doing a fantastic job with some of the new artwork. So here's a card that does not have an official artist. If you look at the bottom, it says it's created by or illustrated by DAG Incorporated rather than by, uh, drawn by an artist. So this is one of the CG cards. Still really fantastic, really jumps right out of the card. Almost looks 3D. That's a cool card, Ice Rider Calyrex. One of you guys are, it's gonna be super stoked to get that card. All right, three hits in, uh, how, many, how many more do we want? I still want seven more, so some of these booster packs better start showing up with some fantastic cards. We do three to the front, let's toss that energy, and there is Clara. Not drawn by Noki Saito, drawn by the legendary artist Ken Sugimori, one of the most senior member of the Pokemon art staff. Ken Sugimori drew a lot of the original base set Pokemon. Uh, I think he drew Blastoise, which is super iconic, as well as a lot of the other ones. Uh, Misuhiro Arita is the other uh, senior legendary artist at the Pokemon company. Misuhiro Arita drew a lot of artwork as well. I think one of the most memorable one would be the base set Charizard that is drawn by Misuhiro Arita. I know some of the artists. The two of my favorite ones is of course Noki Saito as well as the other Saito which is Koki Saito or Kuki Saito, as I like to call him. Uh, he draws a lot of the Japanese promo cards for Pikachu, so that's why I really enjoy some of his artwork, is because he drew a lot of fantastic artwork. In fact, if you see all the um, the Pikachu, the Pancho Pikachus in the back, those were all drawn by Mr. Koki Saito. So, fantastic artist as well. And can't wait to see some more of his cards inside of these sets. We do three to the front, let's... Oh my god, that is not the energy! That is Blaziken V Max. I messed that up so hard. There it is! The alternative art Blaziken V Max. Number 201 out of 198. This has got to be one of the best hits you can get. Rapid Strike style Blaziken V Max. A giant Blaziken V Max training in front of the dojo with the uh, Sab Sabo and the whole entire gang in the background. Really fantastic card. Wow. Wow. Gorgeous card. That is super cool. Oh my gosh. We were just talking about the Blaziken VMAX and there it is. Wow. Fantastic card to uh, add to the background. Man, that looks gorgeous. 
probably one of the most vibrant alternative art cards. I think they're doing a lot of creative artworks on these cards, and I really appreciate that. It's nice to have some alternative looking artworks. This is definitely an alternative art card. One of the secret rare cards. So we pulled one secret rare, 34 more to go. It's gonna be quite a challenge. One of you guys get to win that card. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment and we're gonna be picking some winners next week. All cards will be shipped out. Ooh, Gardevoirs in this set. I didn't even know that. What a gorgeous card. Some one of you guys is getting that card. I know it's not part of the list, which is I'm sending off all the hollow rares, uh, ultra rares, as well as any secret rares we pull. So that blaze is going to be max is going out. That Gardevoir is just gorgeous. You, I have to send that card out. No reason in me keeping it. You know, one, two, three to the front. Toss the what am I messing something up? Is it two to the front? I'm not messing it up. Something happened. Something happened. It's now two to the front on some of these packs. Something happened. That's weird. Inteleon, Rapid Strike, Hollow. I thought Inteleon just got a, um, a printing, so I'm surprised there's another Inteleon card already. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy, that's what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this pack and see what happens, all right? There's the code card. We do one, two to the front. Let's toss this card, which should be the energy. Am I crazy? Am I really messing it up? My gosh, what's wrong with my hands? Am I max mofo or what? Can't do three to the front? Wow, wow, man, I suck. All right, we got cast form, holographic reverse, and wheezing as our rare. Four pulls so far. And we're about halfway through this booster box. So am, I'm still looking for more. We should get at least, I would say, th five more hits. I would say five more hits, five more decent hits would be what we want. So let's see if we can get some serious turnaround. We got Karen's Conviction. We got Steel Crab Brawler, Golette, Porygon, Grookey, Weezing Holographic Reverse. And we got a hit on the back. It is either a VMAX card or a secret rare. We already got a secret rare. I gotta curb my expectation for a second one. So this is, it's a full art. It's a full art card. And we got the Ice Rider Calyrex. Is this the alternative art? I think this is the alternative art Ice Rider Calyrex. We got a second alternative art, a really gorgeous card. Wow, check that out. Super cool card. I love this art. Really fantastic. There's just so much going on in the background as well. Two alternative art cards, guys. Wow, fantastic. That's a really nice center card too. Someone's gonna be really happy to get that one in the mail. Let's open up our next booster pack. So it looks like the alternative art cards aren't super hard pulls this time around. I know with battle styles, they were a real challenge to pull. So it looks like the alternative art cards are a little bit easier to pull. What am I doing? It happened again? What, is, what am I doing? I, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. What am I doing? Am I messing it up? Good thing that there wasn't a, a pull on that one. I don't know how I keep messing this up. It shouldn't bother me this much, but it does. I don't know what's wrong with my hands today. We do one, two, three to the front. I think it's because of this set. The cards feel a little bit thinner. Maybe that's what it is. And I just imagine that they're a bit thicker than what I remember. So maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But it does look like the alternative art cards are a little bit easier to pull this time around, which is great because I think they are some of the most fantastic cards to pull. And in battle styles, I know that they were a little bit of a challenge to pull. So I think a lot of people are going to be really excited to know that the alternative arts are a little bit easier to get this time around, especially with how many there are inside of this set. Uh, the fact that they were hard to pull inside of battle styles might have been just because of how few there were inside of the set. It was just more scarcely distributed. S certainly with um, 
Chilling Rain, there's just a lot more alternative arts to go around. So two inside of a booster box is maybe not, you know, the worst luck or the best luck. We got Sandaconda V as our six hit. So yeah, looks like we're probably gonna make uh, my expectation, which is 10 hits. So, I mean, this has been a fantastic booster box. I love all the cars that we pulled already. This has been fantastic. I think anything else would be icing on the cake at this point. I mean, two alternative art, the Blaziken VMAX and the Ice Light Rider Calyrex are already super fantastic. Right now, what would I want? I think a full art trainer would be fantastic. And I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing one of the new uh, VMAX uh, pony cards. I want to see their VMAX pony version as well. So hopefully we get to see one of those. My my like number one card from this set would be the Shadow Rider V Max Alternative Art. I think that is the by far the most gorgeous card from this set. So we'll have to see if we pull it or not. I do feel like these cards are a little bit more thin compared to prior cards. So that is a little bit interesting. Maybe we have a new printing service for the Pokemon Company trading cards. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I think the Pokemon Company is definitely adding a lot more print runs to their cards. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a different manufacturer because the cards do feel a little bit different. A little bit different. When you guys get these cards for yourself or get these booster packs to open for yourself, let me know how they feel and if I'm just nuts on this or not. But it does feel like these cards are a little bit more thin compared to prior sets. And I think that's okay. I don't feel like these cards are really curving that much inside of my hands. So that's really solid. Uh, we got Aaron, Celio, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, Saul's Buck as our rare. We still have nine booster packs left. So that is a quarter of the booster box. I wouldn't be surprised if we got at least three more hits. That's not impossible at all. And that would be right on the money in terms of the number of hits. We do three to the front. I can totally see myself making that mistake again. These cards feel a little bit different compared to prior booster packs. Uh, but overall, yeah, not too shabby at all. So far, our hits have been really fantastic. I couldn't really ask for more outside of seeing what one full art trainer cards. We got Zarud Hollow Rare. Zarud, one of the new mythic Pokemon, I think it is. I hope that movie comes out to English soon. The Pokemon movie Coco came out in Japan. I hear it was pretty solid. Uh, there was some really cool Pokemon promo for the movie. I don't know if those will come to English. It would be cool if they do. They rarely ever come to English, but I wouldn't mind it at all. I wouldn't mind seeing the movie either. I really want to know if it's a good movie or not. If it's a memorable, memorable movie, then I suppose the uh, promo cards might do really well long term as well. We haven't seen one of the Bird Trio yet, so I wouldn't mind seeing one of the Galarian Bird Trios. I want to see how they look inside of their English version. So that's, I guess, the other hits that I want. We do one, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. We did it fantastically this time. I am not a failure. We got ourselves Marie, Rock Rupp, Swirlix, Lapras, Intellion, Holographic, Reverse. That's going to someone for sure. And we got Zangoose on the back. I did notice that there was a Zangoose in the background of the Blaziken alternative art as well. There's a lot of little details inside of these cards that if you check them out yourself, you might notice like these little Easter eggs. And I think it's honestly pretty cool. We do one, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy and see if we get something decent inside of this pack. We got Dyna Tree Hill Holographic Reverse. Is this a good card? Pokemon, both yours and your opponent can't be healed. That healed. That is a terrible stadium. We got Spirit Tomb as our rare. Six booster pack left. We haven't got a hit in a while. Our luck has been a little bit sour for the last couple of packs. So what goes around comes around. I would not be surprised at all if these last couple of packs were completely bangers. Like really fantastic cards would come from these. Um, honestly, because that's how it works. 
if you don't get a couple of hits in a row, then expect to have some solid hits like one after another pretty soon. Wouldn't be surprised at all. We got Sneasel, Galarian Farfetch, Furfru, a Bomb Must Know, Holographic Reverse, and a hit, a texturized hit. Another alternative art or just a regular ultra rare? Nope. We got, hey, the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Fantastic pull. Also, wow. So we got both the Ice Rider and the Shadow Rider Calyrex. Fantastic card. Let me check on the back of this. The centering on it is a little bit off. Very typical. That doesn't bother me too much. So we're going to put that right there. All these cards are going out to viewers. So, wow. Some solid hits from this booster box. Can't complain. I think we'll probably get one to two more hits. Uh, let's see. One, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy. And we got ourselves Spiral Energy, Honey, Avery, Skullvet, Crab Brawler, Grookey, banging on a stump, Score Bunny pushing a giant snowball. I like that all the starters are training. And we got a hit. We got ourselves a hit, a texturized hit this time. I'm very confident in that. One of the VMAX cards. It is a full art card, a full art Pokemon card. The Galarian Zapdos. No, it is the Sandaconda Full Art. All right, I will take that. It was it was a guess. I had to guess for the Galarian Zapdos. I think that's a fighting type inside of this set, so it was an educated guess. We were still wrong. Sandaconda V, totally fine with it. We still got three booster packs, so probably one more hit. We'll have to see. Although this background is looking really stacked already, uh, I, I'm not going to complain. That's a really solid background. If you are opening up a booster box, this is what you can expect. This is exactly what you can expect from your booster box. I don't know. I think some people open up their booster box and they're actually kind of surprised by the number of hits that they get. It is a lot of fun. I will tell you that if you're looking to open up booster packs of Pokemon, a booster box will get you the most bang for your buck. It is the most value in terms of pack opening. It is a very large purchase, but it does bring a lot of value. You got Peonia, Fire Resistant Crubs, Abominable, uh, Glorian Farfetch, Cast Form in its Rainy Form, Larvesta, Zabo, Crying Training, Ladybug, Glorian Chest Plate, Holographic Reverse, and in the back we got ourselves Galarian Articuno V. There we go. Finally, one of the bird trio. Galarian Articuno V. Very cool card. I, I, the redesign of the bird trios into their Galarian form, I think, was a massive hit. Really cool. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is right on the money in terms of. Uh, hits you can can expect from your booster box. We even got one secret rare. So yeah, this is a very consistent booster box. If you are getting a Chilling Rain booster box, your your booster box opening will look very similar to this. Instead of a Blaziken V Max, you might get yourself one of the other secret rares. You might get yourself a Four Art Trainer. But overall, a really solid pack opening. We got Thraki, Peony. A Glorian chest plate, Glorian Yamas, Coughing, Shuppet, Skullvet, Sveal, Inke, Holographic Reverse, and in the back, Graplock as our Hollow Rare. Wow, really fantastic booster box opening. Uh, these are some really cool cards. I'm going to sleeve up all these cards and have them ready to ship out. Once again, if you would like to win some of the cards from today's pack opening, all you got to do is be subscribed and leave me a comment down in the description of this video. And we will be using a comment picker app to pick five winners to get copies of Hollow Rares, Full Art, Ultra Rares, Secret Rares from today's pack opening. These cards are really cool. If you are looking for Chilling Rain, definitely check out your local game store. These will be on store shelves pretty darn soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.